welcome to another episode of Practical IT. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the newly released CentOS 8, which just came out about 24 hours ago. So let's move over to VirtualBox and get started on our install and review. All right, we've got VirtualBox up. I've already put the settings in place and we're going to go ahead and get the installer moving. As you're probably aware, CentOS 8 is based on RHEL 8, which came out in May, I believe it was. And it had been a while since there had been any real big updates on the progress of CentOS 8, especially since it had been a few months and then it was leaked that it had been postponed due to pushing out CentOS 7.7, which I've reviewed a few days ago. And so then yesterday comes along and we get not only the standard CentOS 8, but we also get the CentOS 8 stream. So we may look at that in another video. So we will continue. Please. There it goes. Compared to CentOS 7.7, they have changed the layout of the in, this installer screen. So keyboard, language, and time zone are all fine. Software we'll take a look at. It's in device SR0, which is our um, virtual optical drive. Um, and we will accept that and let it go. Software selection, server with GUI. Um, we are actually going to choose. Sure, we'll, we'll leave it at that. We are going to make sure, however, that we've got development tools installed because we'll need that for installing the VirtualBox Guest Editions. And we'll take a look at some of this other stuff. Uh, we don't need Samba. And I think we can get away with doing a pretty minimal remote desktop clients, none. Remote management interface for CentOS Linux, sure. And let's see, what else do we need? It's a web server, legacy Unix compatibility. Headless management. That might not be bad. Security tools. And system tools will be helpful. So with that done, we are going to move on to the next part of our process. Okay, so for the purpose of this first demo of CentOS 8, I'm going to leave everything on one partition on the virtual box hard disk. And when we do a more in-depth video on the uh, enhancing the Linus score, we will go into more things on that. So we're going to call this CentOS 8.local apply and then we'll turn on the network and it does in fact grab a an IP address off my network and everything there is correct. Security policy I'm going to leave that alone and we're going to begin installation. So now that it's copying files, we'll set the root password. And set up my user. Okay. 
and you want to select the make user administrator if you want the user to be automatically added to the sudoers group and be able to manage the system without having to switch user to root which is not a recommended practice and yes for the demo i am using a weak password because that's all this vm is going to be is a demo and now it's going to continue through the installation i'm going to cut off the audio and let this run and we'll be back after it finishes installing. All right, we finished with the initial install. We are going to reboot into our fresh CentOS machine for the first time. Hey everybody, this is Jeremy. Uh, yes, I'm wearing a different shirt because it's a different day. So I ran into a technical issue with the VM that I was building in this video. I did get it installed, but it would not boot up properly. I discovered after some trial and error that it was a bad ISO download. And so the look around the graphical interface and getting a Linus score will be a second video. Stay tuned, that will be released later this week. Until next time, this is Jeremy signing out for Practical IT. If you like the video, please take a moment to subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications. Thanks once again for watching. Have a great day.